<laughs> I thought maybe you were going to introduce yourself. That's okay. We, we now know. We're establishing the synergy early. So we got quick. We got ketchup. Ooh, ketchup. Yeah. Love me some ketchup. Got the ketchup. All right. So quick. Um, let's see. I believe he's the number one player in Germany. Is that what I'm hearing yep, correctly? Yep. That is what I heard. All right. Well, of course, you know, Rockin' the Sam is preparing for Prime Saga, which is only a few days away. And I can't believe it as it's been such a long journey. No, I, I'm really actually quite impressed with what I'm seeing already from Quick. Like, the fact that he's using Samus right now against this projectile-heavy character, it seems to make sense to me. Like, he could rush down with a character like ZSS, but looks like he's trying to test the waters here. I mean, projectile-heavy characters, I mean, that sounds like Samus, too. He's got, oh, yeah? she got rockets, she got the plasma charge. Oh, yeah. uh, I guess as far as projectiles go, that's about it. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, she can definitely use her movement, uh, just like you saw the wave bounce, to really mix up her landings, especially now that she's able to charge in the air. She's needed that forever. It's about time. Yeah, definitely. But catch up, you know, he's going to take his time trying to approach. Projectile-wise, he's got the, the cannonball. He's got the Mecha Koopa. Mm. Now, we've seen catch up actually perform some very oh. clean Mecha Koopa setups, but not as clean as that back air from Quick. Oh, yeah, that was a tipper back air. My goodness, that ruined his life. I like the way that Quick is actually falling to the ground. He's using the beer reversal or the wave bounce of the the charge shot and then actually releasing the shot in Ketchup's shield. Like, even though Ketchup is, like, right in front of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, it's nice because it's kind of like double duty. It's like I get to charge it, or if you're way too close to my face, I'm just going to fire. And I might hit you or just do some nice shield pressure. Yeah, it makes it really oh. difficult to tell which way he's going to go. Mm -hmm. But retreating to the sky and then Quick really evading all of the all the landing tools and anti-airs that Ketchup has been putting out. Look at these little shots that he's hitting Ketchup in the face with. Oh. Nice up B. He's been trying to hit uh, Ketchup with that for quite some time. He's finally getting in that forward air. So annoying. It also kind of outranges what we see from uh, Bowser Jr. That's right, but Ketchup able to weave around the, uh, the charge shot and land a back air of his own. Yeah, taking that one. Mm -hmm. Now even setting up a Mecha Koopa trap, but oh, not able to really set much up. And now we have almost a fully charged charge shot. Yeah, and that's one big disadvantage here that we see. It's like Mecha Koopa kind of got this nerf here where you can just shield Mecha Oh, headshot. Uh, but you can just shield Mecha Koopa and then pick it up. Whereas uh, you kind of have to hold that charge shot. Yeah, but at the same time, you can see just how powerful that charge shot is. Mm. I mean, you definitely have to respect that. And then when, if you respect it a little bit too much, you're just going to lose shield and possibly even break your shield. That was a Mecha Koopa setup if I've ever seen it. That's right. Great game coming from Katja just showing that he... You know, all the, all his setups, they, they exist still. Oh, yeah. He still got them. Oh, yeah. We got a pretty nice little set of aerials here, too, from Ketchup. Or at least uh, Ludwig. We got the back air. We got the forward air. He's got some nice range on us. Oh, oh my. my. Yeah, that's right. Whiff grab does uh, not get punished by whiff punish. That is atrocious. You just got hit by a charge shot into forward air, and you lost all your position. That must feel terrible. Oh, I make a couple of caught the, the ledge grab of, of Samus. Yeah, that was, that was interesting. interesting. It looked like he like released his Zare before even hitting the before hitting the ledge. That was interesting. Okay. Oh, the, the jab one. He knows better than the dude jab two. Okay. This guy knows his character. Yeah, jab, jabs unfortunately still do not work correctly for Samus. Nintendo even tells you in the tips, like, don't use jab two. They straight up tell you. Okay. Spacing out with some rockets. And now, quick... Ooh, using the Zare. Yeah, Zaring right back to stage and hopping over the fully charged hard shot. Mm. Catch up, landing an up air. <gasps> oh. The right. stalls out from the right side of the stage. Quick really taking back his time getting back to the stage. Yeah, it looks like Quick is definitely taking as much as he can out of the uh, the lack of frame advantage that Ketchup is exhibiting here. Like, he'll whiff a move, and he's already losing frame advantage, and then Quick just goes straight in immediately after he sees a whiff. We saw another wave bounce into into Ketchup's shield, uh, shield with the charge shot, but wow. uh, Ketchup was able to get a punish, and now taking back stage control, oh, using the up tilt to try and ledge pressure, but it does not work, and now a charge shot lands onto Ketchup. He's looking pretty close to dead here, circling the drain. Yep. That was really smart. He, uh, quick use the, the little bombs that Samus can put out mm. uh, to block the vertical ascend from Ketchup. And because, Stopped yeah, he wasn't able to reset his Koopa card. <laughs> oh, my God. I still think Bowser Jr. has a really good recovery, but uh, he kind of got stuffed just a little bit that time. I mean, if, you, if you're not able to challenge or really challenge the, the recovery from the, the Koopalings uh, correctly, then, yeah, 
great recovery, but as you as you can just see from Quick, you know he, he's aware of how to challenge that recovery. Huh. I'm starting to wonder if uh, Quick just enjoys this matchup, just as a general rule of thumb. Well, we're going into game two, and we're on Town and City. No character switch from Ketchup, but that's no surprise as he pretty much mains Koopaling, and that's no about. Yeah, no one else. Hey, there's nothing wrong with uh, sticking with that one character and just leveling him up. I'm all for it. Uh, catching with the forward air. Um, of course, yeah. Pretty, It links pretty easily enough here at this uh, percentage, especially on a character like Bowser Jr. So big. He's landing so many charge shots onto Ketchup. Landing another big charge shot. But Ketchup answering right back with a few up air strings. 41% off of just up air. That was pretty. Okay, making himself come back here. Mm, I'm not so sure about the clown cart there, but you know what? It ended up working out. He managed to put himself back into the neutral. Yeah, he just wanted to recover high and just make sure that he gets around uh, quick. I mean, Quick's been doing a great job of putting out the missiles, <gasps> the little mines, and then, of course, Charge Chop being real nuisance to catch up. Wow, that down air looked really promising, but uh, catch up firing back with the up B. Okay, avoiding that bomb at all costs. Uh, just barely missing the cross. Yeah, and of course, Quick answering right back. Now he's starting to space out with Zares a little bit. Still allowing Ketchup to uh, to really take his time approaching. And wow, just calling, calling out, out the jump. jump. <laughs> it's a beautiful word. Ketchup landing. And how's he going to be able to really set up the traps here at the ledge to try and take uh, Quick stock? You know, Ketchup hasn't really shown that much hardship when it comes to taking the stock back from Quick. He, he seems to have pretty good little uh, Mecha Koopa setups. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, those Mecha Koopas are definitely coming in clutch, but uh, directional air dodging to the platform, allowing uh, Quick to really finally set up back on stage. Mm. You know, this is kind of tough. Like, oh, uh, that almost killed. But the Bowser Jr. is not a stranger to killing you with up air, and this is a very hard stage to be killing you with up air with, especially the way that he's been staling it. That's but right. back throw is a kill throw. Back throw does, in fact, take in. Quick dropping his first stock. Only 32%. That's actually not too much uh, in comparison to what the de the numbers were really looking like in game one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was able to make some nice little comebacks in game one. Like, as soon as he lost the first stock, he was able to immediately take the second one. And uh, the weave around from catch-ups really making use of the, the clown card approach, uh, allowing him to just uh, weave over that charge shot. Yeah, that Koopa car is it's like the saving grace for Bowser Jr., of course. Uh, it allows you to be so maneuverable. And you have a lot of nice little tricky uh, mix-ups that you can use. You can basically just burn out. It's nice stuff. And speaking of tricky mix-ups, have you seen the way that Catch is actually starting to use the Mecha Koopa? Uh, he's starting to just use it as a wall to just stop charge shot. Mm -hmm. Whenever a Mecha Koopa comes out, you see Quick expending the charge shot and just blowing oh. up the Mecha Koopa, which is trading it. He caught it back after Quick threw it at him. And it did, but it, it did explode on him. Oh, and there's the setup again, but he's going to be able to ride the wall up right back to the ledge, catch up, making it back, not but only to get hit with charge shot once again. These B reverses, though. I do not see Samus's do this, and I think they should be. Yeah, and the up tilt at the ledge was very strong as well. Okay, wow, stopping that charge shot in its tracks. All right, Ketchup is putting his approach down. I like it, I like it. He's not allowing Quick to get as much space as he would like. Now Ketchup's starting to become aware of the when, the timing of Quick's charge shots. You can see he's really prepared to, to bring up shield. Yeah, let's look at this. Okay, um, that might have been a misspaced Mecha Koopa. I don't think he wanted to land on that platform there. Either way, <laughs> that, that moving platform kind of uh, posed a threat with that Mecha Koopa on it. Accidental genius, I think so. Okay. Uh, barely missing the out of shield there there. But a nair or a down tilt does land for quick and now quick is really spacing out with his charge shot once again. Are he gonna expend charge shot? No, Koopa act or Ketchup uses the Mecha Koopa to approach. Yeah, he's following it. Nice stuff. Okay, and forward air. I'm telling you, man, that forward air, it's so good. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, it, it's got a lot of priority. It does fire damage. Oh, yeah. uh, Multi-head, multi it's gigantic, it's oh, barely, just shooting him right in the face, point blank. And with as much as Ketchup is using like a an aerial approach, I'm surprised that we're not seeing up smash come out from quick. Yeah, it's true, huh? Yeah, it, yeah, a it, lot does, of, it does work now. Yeah, I, you know, I still hear a lot of Samus's complain about it, getting shot in the torso. 
Yeah, you know, uh, Ketchup had a pretty good first. He had a pretty good game one. Like, it seemed like he was starting to get places. Uh -huh. uh, and then game two came, and it just started to look uh, a little worse. Okay, well, you know what, Index? I know our commentary duo was short-lived. It's okay. I mean, it's going to be one for the legends. It's okay. But uh, our time has come up, and up next we're going to have Toasty and Edman. Ed okay. The man of Eds. All right. So we'll be... Don't go anywhere. We're going to have a quick commentary switch, and we're going to be back with more hype matches at Wednesday Night Fights. All right. Bye, guys. And what's up, everyone? Hello. Welcome back to Wednesday Night wow. Fights. We're here at the Esports Arena. Edmund and Toasty. What's up, everyone? Not Sir Toasty. Get it right. This is 